Bonedigion a Bonedigesai. Please welcome your host, Hugh Stevens. Yeah! with that. A choice of our ceremony will bring on Academy Bredenig and Humri Doivi like in the excitement and they have Dewi Sant Kair Deed. A very good evening to you all. Welcome to St David's Hall here in Cardiff for the 2017 British Academy Cymru Awards. It's lovely to see you. They say you get to host the BAFTA Cymru Awards twice. Once on the way up and once on the way down. And there's nothing about doing it for a third year. So good luck, everybody. I'm excited to be here. I survived the difficult second album last year. And I'm delighted to be back for a third year to lead us through the night as we celebrate creativity and excellence in Welsh film and television. And what a year of quality viewing it has been. My wedi bod yn flwydd yn ardderchog i dyledu a ffilm yma yng Nghymru, gyda gymaint o eich abwyntiau. A ni nawr i gyd, of course, enjoy your bang ar no seal. Before we go any further, thanks for that spectacular opening to tonight's show. We wish her all the best with her self-titled debut album. Yeah, let's hear it for Betsy! A brilliant Betsy. She'll, she, she'll be on tour very soon as well. She's a real gem in the crown of Welsh music. So we will see more from Betsy a little bit later on. And she grew up on a goose farm in Pembrokeshire. Which you, you couldn't make it up. It's brilliant. Now tonight, it's an important night for a number of reasons. Excitingly, uh, we include the game category for the first time tonight. As part of the ceremony. All the gamers are in. Uh, Recognising innovation and creativity in the video games industry. It's a brilliant thing to acknowledge, of course, as part of our yearly proceedings. Something else we acknowledge this year is an event that we will never forget, which saw its 50th anniversary in October 2016. Uh, it's no surprise that many of the nominations this evening are programmes associated with the Abavan disaster. And we're very happy to welcome some very special guests who are survivors of that fateful day to tonight's awards. You're all very welcome. We also welcome all of those watching us on the live stream tonight, wherever even where you may be in the big bad world, but particularly those across the Atlantic at the Sunken 100 Cantre Gwilod Bar in Brooklyn. So a big shumai to the New York Welsh Society. Hello to you. 
And as you can see, I've gone for the ever so fashionable fat man in a white suit jacket for tonight's proceedings. <laughs> oh, it's, it's proper in, on vogue. Thank you, Nathan Palmer, for this lovely suit. It was amazing to see so many equally smart people on the red carpet donning their glad rags earlier on this evening. Uh, I was genuinely starstruck at many, but no, none more so than the one and only Ian H. Watkins. H from Steps is here. Where are you, Ian? There you are, in the back. Come on, come on. Now, 2017 is, of course, a big year for Steps as they celebrate 20 years in the music industry. And I did ask H for some advice on how to accept your award if you are one of tonight's winners. Because uh, mostly I asked H in particular because nobody wants to trip up the Steps, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> Uh, bear with me, bear with me, bear with me. I asked him how short the winning speech should be tonight, if you win, and how many people you should thank. And he said, probably about five, six, seven, eight. So thank you for that piece of advice, eight. And then the conversation ran out. There was champagne on offer, he's got things to do. And he kindly gave me a copy of the Steps Greatest Hits album, which includes songs for those who don't win tonight, like One for Sorrow, for example. So thanks as Yechavar for all the advice, eight. Digan or Willie Bowen, get out here, get out of here, here we here we go. We're off. We start the 2017 BAFTA Cymru Awards in some style with the awards for entertainment program and children's program. To present them, an actress who became a household name for her portrayal of Keris in Stella. She's currently starring in CBBC's Wolf Blood and joining her, a central figure of the Ministry of Magic in Harry Potter and the Deathly Hallows, but perhaps better known to us here in Wales, quite simply as Dave Coaches. Ni dechrau heno gyda dau actor sy'n rhan o drafodiad parhaus Cymru o gynhyrchu actorion hynod dalentog. Fwch groes o cynnes, please welcome Leona Vaughan a Stefan Rhodri. Ros o'r dda, bod iddi gawna bod iddi gysau. Mae'n wirio neuddol hyfryd bod yma gyda chi ar achlysu'r mor arbennig ac i gyflwyno'r wobr yn y categori hwn. It seems an unenviable task to separate the exceptional programmes nominated in the entertainment programme category, sponsored by Sugar Creative. Let's take a look. And if so... Cantata Memoria of the unexpected. But look, the fireman has actually rescued someone from inside the peach and it looks like a small boy. Could it be James? Taith Bryn Tervel, Glad Agan. A salon. This is what I'm born to do, baby. How are you, man? What are you talking about, love? To the belt. I'm uh, Matty B, and I'm here to book you. Do you need tea? Tea them. Our clue is more about the new shop from outside. And the first BAFTA Cymru Award of the night goes to... Taith Bryn Tyfel, Gwlad y Gan. Thank you, BAFTA Cymru, for this award. 
I'd also like to thank Boom Cymru and Harlequin Media for the opportunity to produce this programme. Um, Diolch i criw cynhyrchu hefyd Griff, Nia a Siwan yn y swyddfa ac am yr hwyl gafon ni ar y daith mae Johnny mae heno di gwybod gŵr camera diolch i ti hefyd a Jules a Nick Stewart y boi sain. Ond bydd yna ddim rhaglen o ni bai am bryn terfel. Diolch i ti bryn am y cyfle ac am yr holl gydweithio dros y fynyddoedd. Diolch yn fawr. One of the most difficult challenges in children's television is to create programmes that inspire, engage and entertain. Those who have achieved this are the talented people behind the brilliant shows in this category, supported by Cardiff Bid. Gadewch yn i fwyn hai blas o waith y tri. Dian a Loli. Uni. Ond gynta, oedd rhaid i ni rewi mam a dad. Fe byd i rewi. Llond cig. Wyt ti'n poeni am dy bwysa? Ti'n ffeindio'n anodd i fwyta'n iach? Ti'n ddim ar fynd i hyn. Gor dewdra, pan fod e'n bwnc mor bwysig? Fel yn un tyfu fy ni, mae'n cyrff yn newid. Teulu ni. Mae id yma, mae chwych o bora a ni wedi dod i mosg. Yn hairydden, ni wedi o cyn mynd i ysgol. Mae'n rhaid i bawb tan i ei sgidiau wrth y drws cyn mynd mewn i wedi o. The BAFTA Cymru Award goes to... Diana Lolly. Diolch yn fawr iawn i BAFTA Cymru am y rhan rhydedd yma. Um, a diolch yn bennaf hefyd i Sioned Roberts o Ysbydrec am ddangos i ffydd yn y syniad reit o'r cychwyn cyntaf. A gadael i'n ei wneud, bydd bynnag oedd eisiau efo raglen. Um, nath o syniad ddechrau pan ddeis i'n ôl i'n waith ar ôl cael yn ail blintyn, ac o'n i'n teimlo mor eiog yn mynd i'r gwaith. A gadael y plant ar ôl, um, a lle ni eisiau bendir fynnu sy'n i'n trio wneud rhywbeth iddyn nhw. A gwnnw i eisiau hefyd creu rhaglen oedd yn dal chdi bach o naw sy'n mynd yn dod i yn yr wyth degau lle oedden ni'n rhaid yn mynd allan. Um, o fod a gwynt a nos ac a chwarae drygau a dringo coed y felly. Ond yn bennaf o, lle oedden ni eisiau creu rhaglen, oedd yn gwneud i blant fod eisiau diffod y teledu. Sori, os bydd yr eich. <laughs> um, a mynd allan i chwarae, achos a bod yn blant, so, ni, oedd hynna'n bwysig fi. Um, a criw bach iawn ydyn ni, ydyn ni'n criw bach, mae ti'n hanner ni ar y llwyfan yma'n hyn rhywun. A dwi'n mynd i ddechrau enwi pobl, um, ond mae pawb yn gweithio mor galad a maen nhw'n gwneud tua tair job. Um, ac dwi'n just mor falch o'r holl beth i ddweud o gyd, a dwi'n meddwl bod ni i gyd yn mwynhau uh, y profiad o weithio yno fo gymaint, bod pawb yn rhoi dwi gorau, mae pawb yn teimlo byd stoddiad yn y peth. Um, ond wrth gwrs ser y sioe, wedi eri yn y moi fan hyn. Maen nhw wedi aberthu nid yn unig um, dau wyliau haf cyfan i'r gyfres yma, ond hefyd amser o'r ysgol. <laughs> Siwbod nhw'n poeni lot am hynny. Ond na, wir o'n hebdd nhw, hebdda chi o'n da, dim de yn aloli, fysa de yn aloli, felly um, i chi mae hwnna. Diolch fawr. <laughs> Ah, 
Sangoch Yade, Ire Nishwira, Diach Mariam, Iliona, a Stefan. Now we have three categories. Next up, three further categories, starting with Photography Factual, sponsored by Janeiro. To present the awards, two actors who appeared together in the hit BBC drama series Ordinary Lies and whose collective credits include Doctors, Hinterland, Mr Selfridge and Hollyoaks. Please put your hands together for Chrysler Canessi, Gareth Pierce and Jennifer Nicholas. <laughs> So I thought about and blessed Buddha Mahena. Uh, this year, there have been many fine examples of outstanding photography in factual programming. But there are only a few that are able to be included in a montage of clips such as this. Baz Irvine, the Aberfan Young Wives Club. We had a week of torrential rain. It, uh, it, it just <laughs> poured. Production team. At night, Police 24 7. We're not going to lock you up tonight. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> My next door neighbour. She always had this in the morning and give him a knock. Rob Taylor. Extreme Wales with Richard Park. Stephen Hart, Abervan, the fight for justice. And they brought with them a big bag of slurry or waste from the coal tips of Abervan. They threw some on the floor, they threw some on a conference table. They were demanding to see George Thomas, but George Thomas was nowhere to be seen. The BAFTA Cymru Award goes to... Baz Irvine, the Aberfan Young Wives Club. Wow, this is amazing. Um, I just want to say, Wales has become my sort of spiritual home for the last couple of years, so this feels very special. Um, a big thank you to uh, Jonathan Hill, uh, to Judith, and to my best friend, Mark Evans. Thank you. Without an editor and their tireless attention to detail, nobody's work can be shown in its most distinguished light. This year, the category is sponsored once again by our key event partners, Gorilla. And here are the nominees. Joe Williams, the Aberfan Young Wives Club. All of a sudden, somebody blow a whistle and then it was silence. And it was... Nothing, you couldn't hear a bird even. And then, of course, they were hoping that they'd get somebody out alive. Caroline Lynch Bloss, Betty and David, lost for words. My case is no different from uh, other carers. We do have to rely on family members. Uh, and without those, I don't know what I'd have done. Will Oswald, Sherlock. Gillanders, the lighthouse.
Kavluinirawapur'i, the British Academy Cymru Award goes to Will Oswald, Sherlock. Unfortunately, the winner can't be here with us tonight, but we'll make sure this gets to them. As filmmakers, we aspire to tell powerful stories that matter, capturing decisive moments in a stimulating and thought-provoking way. Sponsored by Villa Maria, the nominees in the factual series category are fine examples of this craft. Soon, Dig. I got the agony in a gig in there. With a weird foul, bear the scene in the Gerthalia thing, head to either preed. You know, we got a spread in the enemy for a start. Died to Dalla and Envara soon. Death a spread of oil to death before they gain him both deep. For somebody like that to come in and say, This is really great. In fact, I think it's the best thing that's going on. Oh, it's amazing. It just makes you want to do more. Arvordir Cymru. By Keredigion. Yn hanol y fyrryd, mae hynny sgoediog drawiadol, hynny sgiftan. Anrheg gan y fryn hynny san i arglwydd harlech mae'r rhai. Mae chwed leol boblogaidd y mynnu mae dyna diwstyr yr enw. Gift an, anrheg y fryn hynny san. Coast and country. Winter can be breathtakingly beautiful, but for some it can be extremely hard. There's no doubt the winter months can be particularly harsh and for the farmers who are out here looking after their land and livestock, whatever the weather, the season can be rather challenging. The Greatest Gift. Harefield Hospital, Middlesex. And cystic fibrosis patient Kimberly has had an early Christmas present. We had a call from the transplant coordinators at nine, nine o'clock last night to come to the hospital because they found a matching donor. It's a good match and unless something drastic happens, um, I'm gonna have my transplant. The BAFTA Cymru Award goes to The Greatest Gift. <laughs> is all about teamwork and teamwork makes the dream work. Um, once we knew that the change in the law was going to happen with organ donation in Wales, we knew that we wanted to document that and I'd like to say thank you to Cardiff and Vale University Hospital Trust, UHW team, to the staff, they're all here tonight. When we went to talk to them about making the series, they trusted us, they had faith in us, they believed that we could really illustrate what they were trying to achieve. But as I say, television is about teamwork. Not only was it down to Steve, the editor, that brought this whole programme, whole series together, but actually it's down to the PD, Carrie Smith, who gave up a year of her life to film these people. This means a lot more than I thought it was going to, and I think it's because of the people who took part. I filmed people um, donating their organs from intensive care. Um, I filmed people waiting for transplants and they let me into their lives at the most difficult time for them. And that was, it was hard work being on call, but it was a real privilege to make. And sadly, some of the contributors I film with aren't here now. So this is for Kim Hodge, who I always promised if I got here, she'd come with me. So this is for you. Be up after. Mawr. 
Time now to take a look at some of the highlights of BAFTA Cymru's busy calendar. And so we'll see the ride of Dwydiana Creadigol among whom we have been on earth and earth for Heathen Chrysawi a lot of newid and vithiol. Since last year's awards alone, there have been no less than 80 events all across Wales. Let's take a look at just a sum of them. a romantic comedy set in 1940 in London during the Blitz. I've shot in Wales quite a lot, and I always enjoy coming here. That's not PR, I mean, it's a fact. We had a great time. I'm not in the category of Nessa. On to two further categories now is television drama and before that, special and visual effects. Presenting them, a Welsh actor whose extensive acting credits include Marcus MacDonald in the BBC drama series River and Alice Thorne in the hit HBO Phenomenomenon Game of Thrones. Joining him, we're delighted to welcome an Australian actress writer, producer and model who is no stranger to the red carpet, having attended the Oscars earlier this year to represent the Mel Gibson-directed film Hacksaw Ridge, in which she starred alongside Vince Vaughan and Andrew Garfield. Currently, she's working in Wales on the new production of Discovery of Witches. Please give a very warm welcome, Croesa Maori, Owen Teal and Teresa Palmer. <laughs> Judging by the strength of the work in this category, Wales is a leading force in cutting-edge filmmaking, creating magic through effects that couldn't be evoked in any other way. The following clips offer just a small glimpse of their contribution in a category sponsored by University of Wales, Trinity St David. Dogs of Anon. The Lighthouse. Paul Wright, The Chamber. Production team, Sherlock. The Cymru Award goes to Dogs of Anun, The Lighthouse. Thank you. Oh, hi, that's a shock. Um, you know, it was always going to be a challenge for us creating a sort of period drama um, you know, on a limited budget. You know, we had to do the whole film for £300,000. 
so we had to put in a lot of stuff from the start to you know try and make everything work and these guys work tirelessly they work ceaselessly um, Al, Chris the director, Matty, David Chilito, they pulled out all the stops to put together the effects in the film and there's over 400 visual effects shots in the film which you know considering the budget was just a nightmare but these guys did it. <laughs> uh, do you want to have a yeah, no. Um, yeah, it was all shot in a warehouse in Splot, believe it or not, so um, kind of introducing the RHC and the storm to that, kind of uh, difficult but fun at the same time. So um, just love to say thank you to BAFTA for this award. It means the um, world to us. Really, really blown away. <laughs> <laughs> I'd just like to thank my dad. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> You couldn't hope to find a more eclectic mix of nominees than in this next category, but something they do share is a team that has limitless talent and boundless devotion. All of them are worthy winners, but only one can receive the highly contested award for television drama, sponsored by Media Access Solutions. Cheated pimp dude nod. Good boy, Lock. I know, right, Josh? Don't rub it, but I'm not going to shit you like that. Get out of here! Abervan, the Green Hollow. Like some giant hand was playing a skipping. Sir? Yes? Is that thunder? Maybe, yeah. Then it got louder than thunder ever come. Parch. Ti wir yn meddwl y llyfr da help i ti. Achos help o ddau mofi. Dyn fe. Yn y goedwig. The BAFTA Cymru Award goes to... <laughs> Aberfan, The Green Hollow. <laughs> Of shock, <laughs> state of shock. Um, this was a, a very special piece of work for all of us, um, and um, not an easy task to undertake. Uh, thank you, BAFTA, for recognising it. Thank you also to Adrian Davis and Shandy Thomas and Roddy Talvan um, at BBC Wales who had the absolute faith and let us just get on with it, which was marvellous, and also to our BBC4 and our partners at Vox. Um, I'd like to thank, you know, the, the whole team from well, across the board, really, um, obviously brilliantly led by our producer, Jenna Robbins, and uh, wonderfully directed by Pip, and, and uh, Owen wrote a beautiful script, um, the music by Lawrence and the the photography by Steve, all wonderful, a wonderful coming together of a lot of talents. But at the heart of it, of course, was the, the really tragic and, and terrible story of um, that fateful day in Aberfan. And we are eternally grateful to all the people who shared their stories with us and who were generous enough to give us um, their hearts, really. Um, 
and I'd like to pay a special tribute to three ladies who are with us today. Um, there's Jeanette and Nanwen and Sandra, and they're up there, and they should be down here. It was tough for all of them um, to talk to us, and they did. They were very generous with their time. And dear Chamarian Bafta, seven credit pith. Dear Chagallon. Congratulations to the winners. Our thanks again to Owen and Teresa for presenting those awards. To introduce the next two categories, one of the most recognised actresses on ITV through her roles in Emmerdale, Benidorm, and of course Denise Osborne in Corrie. And with her, an actor best known on the small screen for Waterloo Road, Grown Ups, Casualty, Belonging and Coupling. Currently appearing together at Cardiff's Sherman Theatre in the Chekhov play The Cherry Orchard. Please welcome Richard Mylan and Denise Black. Evening. Tonight we celebrate outstanding achievement, creative achievement in the games industry for the very first time as part of the BAFTA Cymru Awards. A thriving and ever popular industry in Wales, BAFTA Cymru have recognised the contribution of the three nominees in championing innovation and creativity. Sponsored by Games Design at Wrexham Glyndwr University, here are the nominees for Game. The Bunker. <laughs> Coffin Dodgers. Creature Battle Round. Time battles. Infinite creature creation. Mix and match creature types. And the BAFTA Cymru Award goes to Creature Battle Lab. Can't believe it. Just want to say first of all. Like we're up against some amazing games, so yeah, it's like we should all be up here to be honest. But um, yeah, we'd just like to thank SLC for believing us in the fir first place and Hugh Marshall, and I guess to all our families for putting up with us for the three years and the stress and everything that came with it. But uh, yeah, thank you to BAFTA again. Thank you. <laughs> Can I just say it's a great honour to be here in Cardiff as a token Englishwoman opening at your Sherman Theatre. <laughs> Shameless plug. You're very welcome. <laughs> the programmes in the single documentary category share stories of real people in a way that is insightful, enlightening and, most of all, truthful. Sponsored by Aberystwyth University, let's take a look at those who made the shortlist. After which his career took Abir another Van, the fight for justice. Turn. The man who chaired the National Coal Board, the organisation responsible for 144 deaths here, went on to lead a review into health and safety at work. Yes, really. Dan Snow on Lloyd George, my great-great-grandfather. Lloyd George was only 27 when he became an MP. 
and entered this place, he quickly established himself as one of the most dynamic and remarkable politicians of his generation. And he served here a long and extraordinary career until 1945, and all that earned him, well, pride of place. Hillsborough, a hintlev here. Darwin Dal in my middle, I'm in a bubble in my room. I'm not going to kiss us the bubble of my room of a quiet, a new olive oil of Natwe. That body with a stop your villa, Pamela she eat a caligario, and a shack head just to win up. Yestin Garlic, Story Mabuisiadi. Wow. Oh my God. I don't know. After Cymru Award goes to Abba Van, the fight for justice. Mohonen Andrades and Hagol, Bafta, Jochen Baurichi, Jochi Reiskor Hevid. This is an honour, but it, it, this was an incredibly personal documentary. Um, not many realise that I was born and brought up in Abavan uh, a decade after the disaster. And this is the only documentary I've ever made where I had to ask the permission of my parents before I even offered it to a, a broadcaster. And the reason I wanted to make it was I knew I owed an incredible debt of thanks uh, to the people of Abavan, not just to my family who were directly affected by the disaster, but to the whole community, because in the decade between the disaster and when I was born, something incredible happened, which meant that I had a, a wonderful, normal childhood, which allowed me to go on and uh, do things like this. So, Jochen Bauer Abervan, to be here in Gwartherogi. Thank you very much. Fangwachiara Adiach Richard Adenis, presenting the BAFTA Cymru Award for Writer. We have a Welsh actor, writer, and director about to star as Guy Fawkes in the BBC's Gunpowder alongside Kit Harrington. He also appears as Viscount Gillingham in that television series we all know and love, Downton Abbey. Rhochgroeser Cynnes, please welcome Tom Cullen. A good writer can transport us to other worlds, bringing compelling tales to the screen and their imaginations to life. Tonight's nominees have done just that with extraordinary results. In a category sponsored by the social media, by the social club agency, let's take a look at the fruits of their labors. James Button, was this morning, the Corp series. I beat a prostitute to death with a, with a rubber dick. James? What the fuck are you doing? Well, they, they knocked on the door, they asked if I'd ever done anything God wasn't cool with, and yes, we just so got chatting. You let them in? Yeah, don't worry about it. There is currently a dead hooker right there. Fleer David, a Llyfrgell, the library suicides. What did the doctor try to mention to them? But the have been spell, can't put in trying while on. Do you feel squinny or do you feel covered up with your story? Do you just feel it? Owen Shears, Abervan, the Green Hollow. The master in front of them, his arms spread in protection, trying to save them all. He was a big man. But what could he have done? 
one teacher against a mountain. And the BAFTA Cymru Award goes to Owen Shears. Abavan the Green Hollow. Oh, well, thank you so much, Dichon Barian, BAFTA Company. Um, it's often said that in terms of film and television, it all starts with the words. Uh, that's certainly what the writers say, anyway. Um, but in the case of The Green Hollow, as you've already seen, um, that was still true. It still started with the words, but the words weren't mine. They were the words and the voices of the people who I spoke to over um, a period of seven months. And for that reason, my first thanks has to go to all of those people. Thank you so much for the generosity and the um, honesty and the incredible bravery with which you shared your stories, without which this film simply could not have happened. When it came to shaping those words, I was very, um, I was sure that poetry should be the shaping influence. Uh, so thank you very much to BBC Wales for uh, backing um, a poetry film. And in terms of that shaping journey, I couldn't have hoped for um, a better team than uh, Beth and Jones and uh, Jenna Robbins and the absolutely extraordinary filmmaker, um, uh, Pitt Broughton. Um, and I should also thank my uh, wonderful wife, Catherine, and my parents for being there when those seven months uh, of uh, talking and listening sometimes got uh, quite tough. Um, I'd like to finish with um, a quote uh, from the uh, Swansea poet, Vernon Watkins, who died 50 years ago today. He once said, speaking about his own poetry, that it is in joy that my music is found, but the sorrow that makes it true. Well, The Green Hollow couldn't have been made without the sorrow of Abba Van, but its music, I really mean this, could not have been found without a very unique kind of joy that we also found in that, village, which, um, in that village, which is still very much alive. So thank you very much, Bafta Cymru, and thank you very much, Abba Van. Congratulations, Owen, and thanks, Tom. It's time now for a very special performance from another one of this evening's guest artists. My name is Lauren Berformiad, and an artist of my talent, fresh from representing the UK in this year's Eurovision Song Contest. Lucy Jones's career goes from strength to strength, recently treading the boards in theatres across the world in shows such as We Will Rock You, Le Miserable, Ghost, and Rent. She can currently be seen playing the lead role of Elle Woods in the UK tour of Legally Blonde, the musical. But Lucy isn't the only singer from Cardiff who's taken Wales to the world. 2017 marks a very special milestone of arguably our greatest musical export, with a career that includes 35 studio albums, 105 singles, and global sales estimated at more than 135 million. The label of Welsh icon certainly can't be an understatement. Goldfinger, Diamonds Are Forever, Moonraker, just some of the songs that have made her a figure synonymous with a silver screen. I'm talking, of course, of the girl from Tiger Bay herself, Dame Shirley Bassey, who celebrates her 80th birthday this year. To wish her a happy birthday with a little flavour of some of those greatest hits. Of Grace Kinesiaoni, please put your hands together for the brilliant Lucy Jones. <laughs>
Come on, let's hear it again for Lucy Jones. I'm lying in the at Guabra Nessa. On we go to the next awards. Cable Athlete Sign Achedori Ethnaud, sponsored by AB Acoustics. Talking of which, can I get a bit more treble in my monitors, please, Buzz? Thank you very much. That's it, lovely. And Lexon Printing, respectively. We move on now to the awards uh, for sound and original music. And to hand them over, two people who have become TV personalities through their shared love of music. Their respective bands both celebrate their 20th anniversary in 2017. One is a singer with the Welsh girl group Eden, and now is a familiar face on S4C. And the other is a member of Steps. You know which one. Uh, one of the most successful... They're not all here. There's only one here. Uh, and uh, one of the most successful pop groups of the 90s. Um, we're about to embark on the aforementioned huge tour. Uh, Viewed in for Nirvana Pop. Please welcome, cross them out, Emma Wolford and Ian H. Watkins. <laughs> Sound not only enhances the cinematic and televisual experience, it's a crucial element of the creative process. Three gwaith, mae'r enwebion heno wedi dangos eu bod yn feistri yn ei meysydd amrywiol. Let's take a look and have a listen. Samata hmm? now. Production team. Damilola, our loved boy. Damilola, our loved boy. I'll just go to the toilet, is that okay? If that was me, I'd have got to shoot my head. Be quiet. He thinks he can sock his way to London. He will eat every grain. Stop on, boy. I wonder where he gets that from. Production team. Decline and Mr. Fall. My name is Mr. <laughs> Come on. <laughs> sir, there's more chalk in the desk drawer, sir. My name is Mr. 
Davis, Mr. Production team, a Midsummer Night's Dream. Snake throws her enameled skin. Weed wide enough to wrap a fairy in. And the BAFTA Camry Award goes to Damilola, our Love Boy production team. Thank you very much. Uh, we weren't expecting that, um, considering we were up against some very stiff opposition with uh, the Midsummer team and, uh, and you guys as well. And, uh, <laughs> the other one. Um, I want to thank Eros Lynn for believing in us, first of all. And uh, yeah, quite right too. Um, he's an inspiration to work with. Um, I'd like to thank Sue Horth and everybody at Minnow Films. Um, who was who were absolutely brilliant with us. Jamie, the editor, uh, the great cast and crew, unbelievable. Um, on a personal front, I want to say, Robbie, go to bed. Um, <laughs> he's watching on Facebook as we speak. But uh, thank you very much. Um, <laughs> Television can leave you laughing or crying, but one of the greatest tests of its success is if its mu music moves you. This year's nominees all passed that test with music that emotes, underscores, and enhances. Benjamin Talbot and Victoria Ashfield, Galesa. Mm. John Hardy Music, a Gwyth. James Dean Bradfield, the Aberfan Young Wives Club. Oh, <laughs> huge amount of laughs, yes. We've done some wonderful things and uh, we certainly haven't just sat in the corner, you know. And the BAFTA Cymru Award goes to Cyflwynir y Wabr E. Benjamin Talbot and Victoria Ashfield Galesa. <laughs> Sorry, guys. <laughs> um, thank you very, very much. Uh, first, this is a massive shock. Uh, we wanted to thank Lee and Roger Festival and everyone who was involved in making the film. Uh, it's absolutely fantastic and it's a beautiful film, so thank you very much. Um, the other person that we really wanted to thank uh, was John Hardy, uh, who sat over there. Hi, John. Uh, who, who we work with and who's a fantastic human being who's given us a lot of opportunities, so thank you very much. Cheers.
It's time now for one of the most hotly anticipated awards of the night, the Actress Award, sponsored by Iceland. I'm not going to get to what, but I'm an you know, what I'm going to get to what I'm uh, to present it, a multi-award winning actress known for her roles in the This Is England franchise, her work in ITV's Broadchurch, BBC crime thriller Line of Duty and a brilliant performance as Paula in The Replacement earlier this year. We're delighted that she's here with us this evening and we're lucky that she's no stranger to Wales. Uh, please welcome Vicky McClure. <laughs> So when a gifted actress is on screen, she wholeheartedly embraces the character she has become. The artists who brought those characters to life are our nominees this evening. Let's take a look. Cariceleri as Mavanoi in Pach. But I Airy Thomas as Anne in Aberfan, the Green Hollow. Wouldn't be right to say those who survived entirely escaped that tips landslide. We got out, yes. And most of us have got on too. But the shadow of that shale, those tailings, is long and deep and cast inside. Kimberly Nixon as Holly in Ordinary Lies. Oh, Jenna, Jenna, please, I... I need to hand in your notice. I don't want to ever see you again. And I strongly advise you get some help. You were so right for you. With your perfect life, your perfect flat, your perfect boyfriend. Everywhere I look, online, at work, everyone's living these amazing lives and I'm just, I'm stuck. I'm on the other side of the fence, just watching. Mally Jones as Nia in Tredic Pimp Doodled. Come to the door now. Check on that, mate. Check on that, mate. Please think about it. I bet you're going to get away from it. Oh, sorry. We're in piss, Stevie. Why well, would he sobbing now? And the BAFTA Cymru goes to Kimberly Nixon. <laughs> Productions to um, Emily Fowler, the producer. Um, mainly uh, the, all the cast. I know a couple of the guys were here earlier. It was a, a massive ensemble thing. Um, especially thank you to John McMillan, who I did all my really, really crazy scenes with, and to Misha Manson Smith, who is the director and who really, really pushed me to take her to new levels. Um, thank you. Thank you so much. And um, thanks to my husband and my dad. Congratulations and thank you very much, Vicky. On to short film and director, Fiction now, uh, presented by a stage and screen actor from Aberystwyth, whose work includes Hinterland and a leading role in the most recent series of S4C's Trudig Pimp Diwnod. My actor, Lad Benig Yawn, and joining him, a sprinter whose accolades include a Commonwealth Games medal, a Welsh indoor record, and representing Great Britain at the Sydney and Beijing Olympics. Ladies and gentlemen, Hoth Kreisakanes, please welcome Geraint Morgan and Christian Malcolm. 
Well, my have read Carl Border, my Gavloy Nord Gobra, and a category in SMA. On screen, as in life, the briefest of moments can often give us the most lasting impressions. Sponsored by University of South Wales, here are the nominations for short film. The Corpse series. And from one thing led to another. Don't do this to me again, mate! Come on! It's different to last time, though. No. Completely different. Well, you know. One, one thing is, though, I, I do think I might, need to, I might need to get checked. Meat on Bones. What the fuck are you doing to my home? Uh, uh, so, uh, Mr. David Pritchard, my name is Gwyn Thomas. I'm What's this? Kennedy Young County Council. It's um, under Section 77 and 78 of the Criminal Justice and Public Order Act. I can't it, read, yeah. Sunshine. Okay, look, th this, this, this cliffed up area is an area of outstanding natural beauty. Failure to remove the caravan will result in a police presence. Locked in my body. He's the same age as me. He's got his whole life ahead of him, and yet he's here, he's with us, and he's completely shut out. Wiggle your fingers for me. Can you move your hands? This far up. The BAFTA Crumbie Award winner goes to This Far Up. Short uh, films are made with very few resources, but a hell, of, a hell of love and hard work. So thank you to our cast and crew and our executive producer, Stacey Spodgerswood, and pal for thinking. Sorry, I'm shaking. Yeah, I, I told Miranda we, had, we didn't have a chance, so we didn't have to think of anything to say. Um, yeah. So, but just thank you to everybody involved, and thank you to my dad. We filmed it in his house. And... Um, <laughs> Uh, and thanks to David, who sat over there, who didn't come up, um, who was in the film. Dear Fafta, thank you. <laughs> Successful directors need to take risks, have a resolute vision of what their work can be, and a hardiness to overcome sizeable hurdles. Those shortlisted in this category possess those qualities in abundance. In awards sponsored by Champagne Tattinger, the nominations for director fiction are. Chris Crow, The Lighthouse. Tom, help me! Fuck the light! Fuck this place! I am Carter! Leave that dog! Do not see! Tom, please! Tom, help me! Eros Lim, Damilola, our loved boy. <sighs> Eros Lim, a Llyfrgell, the library suicides. Van the Green Hollow. And that's how they went. Out a hundred doors for their last days. 
And that's how we said our last goodbyes, with all the luxury of easy time. But it was already draining, running out like sand in the glass. And the winner is, the BAFTA Cymru Award goes to Eros Lynn for the library show. Diolch bath y Cymru. Um, diolch am y wobr yma. Diolch i bawb ar y criw uh, weithiodd mor galed ar y ffilm. Uh, diolch yn arbennig i Fflyr Dafydd uh, a mi ffydd ynddo i. Um, a Cheryl Davis Keighley a mi chred i groedd ynddod ar ffilm mewn ar gallideb. A diolch i Adam Partridge o Ffilm Cymru Wales a mi frydfrydedd. A diolch ddwy waith i Catrin Stewart. Am fod mor wych a hyfryd wrth arwen y cast ar bennig roi oedd bwy gorau'r ffilm. Diolch yn fwriawn. Llond o'ch iau ddau eiros, a nawr mae'n amser wedi dod i ni droi at y cyntaf o'n gwobrau ar bennig ni heno. The Sian Phillips Award is awarded to a Welsh man or woman who has made a significant impact in major feature films or network television programmes. This year's award is supported by Pinewood, and there is no doubt that its recipient more than qualifies for the recognition the award bestows. To tell us more, a BAFTA-winning actor, writer and director who needs little introduction. Fonadigian of Fonadigese, Martadis wedi glanio and Chippy Lane. Please welcome the doctor himself, the one and only Peter Capaldi. Thank you, nice to see you all. Um, and there's one thing I think that we can all agree on, and that is that uh, if your script is crap, so are you, <laughs> and nothing will save you. But if you're lucky, you'll have a good script, and if you find yourself smiled upon by fate, you'll have a really good script. But if the cosmic forces of chance have chosen to bestow upon you the highest level of good fortune that they can muster, you will have an Abbey Morgan script. And then you'll be laughing or crying or doing whatever it is that Abbey has decided you should be doing because she is quite simply one of the finest screenwriters on the planet. Her range of work and the scale of her success is extraordinary. On television, she's brought us the astonishing adaptation of Birdsong. Original individual series like The Hour, River, deeply affecting and powerful specials like Tsunami, The Aftermath, and Sex Traffic, and she's currently finishing her new series, The Split. In film, she has excelled, becoming a much in demand international screenwriter, and no wonder, with credits like Shame, Suffragette, Brick Lane, The Iron Lady, and who could forget her 1998 peak practice episode, Glass Houses in which Claire's husband, Mac, visits Dr. David in the beaches and is diagnosed with an ulcer. <laughs> the situation worsens when Dr. David is later called upon to see Mac after he cuts his finger. The finger is infected. I think we've got a, no we haven't. Um, <laughs> that's 15.99 from Amazon Prime. Then, as now, an Abbey Morgan script will be something special, a great story, dramatic, clever, full of vivid characters, each vital to the tale, but teeming with a life of their own. She's fiercely intelligent, a daring writer who will not shy away from the sometimes bleak truth her work uncovers. No one who saw sex traffic will ever forget the depiction of the brutality of that world. Her work is marked by humor, drama, intelligence, atmosphere, and above all, heart. And I think this is what especially marks her out. Nothing that she has ever dramatized has been without her deep sensitivity and compassion, which she's turned on everything, 
from the life of a sexual predator to the Iron Lady herself. Sensitivity and compassion, which I can attest, being lucky enough to be a friend of Abby, I know that this shines from deep within her. She's that unusual thing. She's hugely successful and talented and human. And that's not always the case. I can recall an occasion when she got very nervous and awestruck when she met one of our greatest and most influential filmmakers, Ken Loach. As she left him, she said rather nervously, lovely to meet you, Kevin. <laughs> but talent and heart isn't enough. Her work ethic is famous. She'll often work through the night, fired up on Diet Coke and Harry Bows. And she famously did three drafts of the same script on the same day. On, Suffra on Suffragette, she did 30 full drafts of the script, then another 15 variations on top of that. When asked why so many, she said, because I just couldn't get it right. Well, she did get it right. She will continue to get it right, and we will all be the richer for it. Let's have a look at some of her work. There is junk everywhere. There's bottles wedged under the bath. Is it any wonder I don't come home? Look at you. Here, will you just give it here? Sit down and I'll do it for you. I'm not a baby. They're frozen peas. It's all right to me. My wife wasn't murdered. It's not the same thing. I'll get you a glass of water, shall I? They're all coming back. What do you do? Tell me, what do I do? You, you must know. Something. Well, Arsenal. He was an Arsenal fan, wasn't he? Now, Everton's my team, but he was an Arsenal fan, wasn't he? Hey? You want to... You want to talk about football? My wife wasn't murdered. It's not the same thing. I've spent nearly half my life believing in something. Something bigger than me. Today was the first day I suddenly thought, maybe I'm just talking to myself. <laughs> but there really is nothing. This is it, just me. Leah? No, 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 no! Get that fucking thing off! Mom, don't embarrass me. Take it off! I can't fucking look at you. <laughs> Leah and Kylie McNeil, take it off now. Now! I don't see any man ever looking out for any of us because we're just women. Always been there, always will be. What's happening to the factory, Alan? It's not just the women who are out, is it? There is no big contract, is there? Is there? Why did you lie? If she wants us to take her seriously, she must learn to calm down. <laughs> if the right honourable gentleman could perhaps attend more closely to what I am saying, rather than how I am saying it, he may receive a valuable education in spite of himself. If you smile and say you like, the rest I'm sure we can sort later. You patronising bastard. I've proved myself over the last three months more than proving myself, and just because I haven't got your wit, oh, your self -pity. banter, your dexterity, your armory of words designed to floor, to floor me, just because I'm too polite to ask the provocative questions. And again. Shut up! You're a suffragette, Mrs Ellen. Yes, but I consider myself more of a soldier, Mrs Watts. These women's testimonies make a difference. Maybe, but as Mrs Pankhurst says, it's deeds, not words, that will get us the vote. You don't know what to do. A question that sometimes drives me hazy. Am I or are the others crazy? Let me tell you, from someone who knows you, knew you, your bananas. Barking. Barking mad, babe. Bonkers. 
crackers, crackpot, crazy, crazed. Congratulations to yet another award. You should have every award there is in the world. Not just because you're a, you're a brilliant writer, but because everything you write is filled with, with a burning humanism and, and beautiful compassion. She said that she had put her heart on the page and you can feel that. You feel that when you read the script for the first time. And you just want what you're putting on camera to feel as alive as her words on the page felt the first time you read them. I think of you a lot and I miss you. And every time I read a script, I miss you even more. You write extraordinarily for film, for theatre, and for television, with a range of poetry and muscle like nobody else. Um, that in each form and each story, you bring something different of yourself. Um, I know that you're unbelievably generous to other writers, that you are an amazing both leader and friend in every team, on every project that you work on. I remember the first day we met each other, uh, my thought was, okay, we'll have a cup of tea with this lady and have a conversation about, you know, whatever. Three and a half hours later, we were still talking. Um, and it was an instant sort of uh, spontaneous sort of uh, combustion of love and, and respect and, uh, and awe and admiration for your genius work. You are a great writer, um, a great artist, and a, a wonderful friend. Congratulations and have a wonderful evening. Abby, my very, very visible woman, Congratulations on the Sean Phillips Award. I'm here in romantic Belgrade, missing you. I'm on a movie, but it's not a movie with you. Damn, I wish it was. I love you. Congratulations. The BAFTA Cymru Sean Phillips Award goes to Abby Morgan. Wow. Gosh, that was so nice and slightly embarrassing. I'm really sorry. You must like. Thank you so much. Um, and I'm also a technophobe, so I'm so sorry I've written on a phone. But there you go. Um, I'm not tweeting. Uh, thank you to BAFTA Cymru for this honour. Um, I was fortunate enough to work with Sean Phillips a few years ago, and uh, she's a beautiful and inspirational woman and actress, and I've admired her my entire life. Uh, so this award has particular significance for me. Um, I feel genuinely honoured to be in this room of people, really honoured to be uh, here at BAFTA Cymru, and uh, I think we're so lucky to do what we do, to make a living from our passion. I still wake up and can't believe I'm not waitressing anymore. Um, I thought I was going to do it forever. Uh, um, I've been fortunate enough to work with some extraordinary people from all over the world, directors, producers, and actors like Peter. It's lovely to see the brilliant costume designer, Ray Holman, uh, be nominated today. Congratulations, Ray. I'm working with him at the moment. Um, but it's the next generation I look to, and in particular to the new female writers, to continue telling stories and raise the 16% of films written by women in 2016. Above that, we uh, currently <laughs> occupy. Um, I've had the very happy opportunity to mentor a number of writers, but one in particular stands out, a fantastic uh, young writer called, Cardiff writer called Kaylee Llewellyn. So I'm confident the future of screenwriting will be all right. Um, I love language words. Uh, they're my bread and butter and uh, the grease that brings characters and stories to life. My earliest memory is my dad quoting Dylan Thomas to me in our kitchen. Um, exposing me to the lyricism and beautiful magic of his writing. It stayed with me. Awards are an opportunity to thank those you love and who have supported you along the way, but also to reflect on where you've come from. Um, I'll treasure tonight as a moment to bring together those 
I love and for whom I would not be the right I am today without. Um, Jacob, my partner, I love you. Um, sorry. Um, you're my best friend and um, my constant voice of encouragement and the person who reads my scripts first. We used to read my scripts first, but... Um, and I, I can't tell you how much uh, I am, feel privileged and lucky to have you as my partner. Um, and to my children, Jessie and Mabel, who have put up with the years of distraction of their mother, um, you are quite simply the best. Uh, I love you. You are my heart. You bring heart to my work. Um, and I feel really privileged uh, to be your mum and to be able to do the job I do and genuinely to be in such talented uh, such, talent, such a such talented um, room full of people. I watched. I was just watching tonight, thinking there were so many shows. I want to immediately go home and and uh, pull up on the iPlayer. So thank you again. It's wonderful to be back in Cardiff and to share this with you tonight. Thanks very much. <laughs> Peter, Abby, big congratulations. Two further categories now, and to present them, a graduate of the Royal Welsh College of Music and Drama, whose films include Bridge End and more recently Borg vs. McEnroe, and an actor known for his roles in Gracie, Everybody's Gone to the Rapture, Bang, and the BAFTA nominated 2010 film Made in Dagenham. Please welcome Scott, Arthur, and Matthew Aubrey. <laughs> In this category, captivating stories are brought to life on screen, channeled through the perception of great directors. In a category sponsored by Capital Law, let's find out who they are. Arwin Evans, Yestin Garlic, Story Mabuisiadi. Trossi came on the note, and they see this rare process. It's a Sach chi'n dibod yn adeg yna? Sy'n ni ella o bosib wedi eich awar fyddi. Iwan England, Aberfan, The Fight for Justice. After the Christmas break, the tribunal reconvened and started to take evidence from more senior workers at the National Coal Board, not just the men working on the tips. And the first of those was Vivian Thomas. Johnny Owen, Don't Take Me Home. In fact, it was in that corner. It was like a wave that came rushing down, and they were just going completely crazy. Knowing that, you know, we've got two goals on them here, and there's only a couple of minutes to go, we're probably going to win the game. Not the best feeling I've had on a football pitch. Mark Evans, the Abervan Young Wives Club. And I went, and I never missed after that. Nobody spoke of the disaster. Nobody at all. No, uh, no talking about children or, or bereavement, or it was different. It was, I think it was good for everybody. And the BAFTA Cymru Award goes to Mark Evans, the Aberfan Young Wives Club. Um, this really isn't my award. Uh, this award is about a relationship between journalists and people, Jonathan's uh, team at ITV and the wonderful women of Aberfan. And it's your award, Denise, and the uh, Young Wives Club. So thank you very much, Jeff. <laughs> So tonight we celebrate the greatest talent of our industry today, but it is also important to recognize the talent of tomorrow. Through recognition in this way, the Breakthrough Award, sponsored by Cardiff and Vale College, can encourage and nature this talent. Oh, let's take a look, take a look at the shortlist. Well done. Jenna Robbins. 
for Abervan the Green Hollow. How to talk about it? That's been a struggle from the very start. When something like that happens, a village, a person, they're bound to go dark. Vivian Pioch for Nine Story Weir. Pure an amal y byddai nain y fi yn teimlo bod angen siarad. Byddwn ni'n deall ein gilydd, drwy fod gyda'n gilydd. Os byddai rhywun yn dweud rhywbeth cas wrth fi, byddai hi byth yn sôn amdano. Sean Jenkins. Yr undeb Europea, mewn neu mas. Dyna'r cwestiwn fydd yn cael ei roi ger bron pobl y deyrnas Senedig ar y trydydd ar hugain o'r mis yma yn y refferendwm ar Ewrop. Mae'r ymgyrch i adael yn dweud bod pryden wedi colli gormod o bwer i'r Undeb Ewropeaidd, a bod y mwyafrif ond deddfe yn cael ei gwneud ymrwsel ac nid ymrhyden. And the BAFTA Cymru Breakthrough Award goes to... Jenna Robbins, Abervan the Green Hollow. very much. I'm um, very thrilled to win this and would just like to thank um, people who supported me on my journey um, to get this award. So um, specifically um, Pip Broughton, Owen Shears, Ayla Hatcher and probably most importantly of all Beth Ann Jones um, without whom um, I wouldn't have been able to have the opportunity um, to produce this programme and uh, who worked tirelessly um, throughout in support of me. Um, I probably, um, most importantly, should say that I was very proud to be part of a programme which um, honoured the community of Aberfan and um, it's in that community um, who were so generous in their stories and their spirit that I would like to dedicate this award. So thank you very much. <laughs> As we celebrate together tonight, we must also take a moment to remember those who we have sadly lost this year. Whether they were in front of the camera or a driving force behind it, each and every one was a cherished member of Wales's film and television community. My gwaith caled mewn wahanol feisydd wedi cael effaith ar nifer ohonom a mae'n dyledydd hynny yn fawr. Their lives may be over, but their legacies live on.
That's just about all from Cardiff Arms Park, except to tell you that uh, in a week's time our programme will be the highlights of the West Wales Derby between Neath and Swansea. Do join us then. Nine and eight, three category Nessai, beat the worthy on Talthedi Bill at Kavloino. We move on now to three further categories news and current affairs, live broadcast and presenter. To hand out the awards, the youngest actor to play Othello at Shakespeare's Globe Theatre, also starring in Emmerdale and Casualty, and an actress most notable for her leading role of Detective Sergeant Shan Owen in the BBC and S4C series, Hinterland the Gwyll, which has now been seen in more than 100 countries worldwide. Please welcome Hwchreiser Canessi, Lloyd Everett and Hannah Daniel. Good evening, my blesser, I would like to Sponsored by Working Word, those shortlisted in the next category are all exceptional examples of news and current affairs programme making, reporting on iconic moments with compelling coverage. Let's take a look at their exceptional work. Cysgod Chernobyl, the shadow of Chernobyl. A bead at Bedwar. Character to that some need a bubble, ma. But the nuns are eating. They want a mere trivia. But that no for. And of course, that's a bit of all. I come up with all the day there been him. Now we're not even doing one with him. I'm only a Ikean meal of another day. Living with dementia. Chris's story. I go walk into a room and nothing is familiar about it. I don't know where anything is in the house anymore. It's like someone's moved you out for a couple of years and moved you back in again. Michael Sheen, the fight for my steel town. Two months ago, the bombshell dropped that 750 jobs would have to be lost from the steelworks. And right at this very moment, inside there, individuals are learning their fate if they do or don't have a job working for Tata Steel. This is a week that will shape the lives of many families in Patalbot and the surrounding area. Wales at six. Well, what happened here clearly devastated the community and had a lasting impact on all those who lived through it. But how could it happen? How could a tragedy of this magnitude be allowed to happen on this scale? Coal was the very thing that had brought prosperity to Aberfan, but it was also so cruel in what it took away. And the BAFTA Cymru Award goes to Michael Sheen, The Fight for My Steel Town. Thank you very much. We really uh, weren't expecting this. I just want to say well done to all the uh, other nominees, particularly my colleague Maria and Jenny at the back there, and to Chris and Jane. Well done. Um, thank you to Michael for agreeing to take part in the programme. Thank you to everyone else who worked on the team, to Karen, to John Rees, and to Tim Jones. Uh, most of all, to everyone in Port Talbot who uh, allowed us to film with them at a really, really difficult time. Thank you very much. Thank you to Bafta Cymru. Thank you. Executing a successful live broadcast is a fine art. The challenges are numerous, and the age-old excuse of we'll sort it out in the edits is simply not an option. This year's shortlist includes two music broadcasts and a programme to help solve crimes. Here are the nominees.
BBC Young Musician 2016 Grand Final. Catching the Abusers, a Crime Watch special. Good evening and welcome to a new series of Crime Watch. Tonight we have a special episode dedicated to tackling child sex abuse. You can't have missed the recent revelations about abuse in football, but of course the problem goes much further. Final band Cymru, Dwyfil ag Indig Chwych. Gorau chwarau, cyd chwarau, meddai'r arwyddau, rhoi na Dani ddim yn Ffrainc efo Chris Coleman a'i dîm. Dani yng Nghymru, yng Hong Kong dda, yng Rheorgi, yng Theatr, yng Parcadar, efo pedwar o fandia gora Cymru. Cyflwynir y Wobr I, the BAFTA Cymru Award goes to BBC Young Musician 2016 Grand Final. Dr Cymru, um, i'n un dim bach iawn sy'n gweithio ar y gyfres, a ni'n mor falch ohono, a ni'n cael y cyfre bob dwy flynedd i'n neud y gyfres, a ni'n falch iawn. Um, it's quite a humbling experience working on the production, just because of the sheer hard work and the talent of the young musicians that take part. Um, in 2016, we were extremely fortunate that three outstanding um, young people made it through to the grand final. Um, and this award is certainly a celebration of their success. Diolch yn fawr. Our next category features incredibly gifted presenters in very different situations, each one unique and compelling. The BAFTA Cymru nominations for presenter, sponsored by Deloitte, are... Betty George, Betty and David, lost for words. And sometimes I think to myself, oh, I'm losing grip here. And then what saves me is my work. That, yes, that really is the saving grace, as it were. Hugh one Edwards, Aberfan, the fight for justice. Of a community shattered in terrible circumstances, which slowly, bravely rebuilt itself, often against the odds, but never gave up on the fight for truth and for justice. And that, on this 50th anniversary, is the lasting message of Aberfan. Yestin Garlic. Yestin Garlic, story Mabusiadi. Yn awyddus i wybod rwan um, pwy oddi, beth oedd yr amgylchiadau. Fyd yna, mae'n mwyn i beth i'n siwr bod. Richard Parks. Extreme Wales with Richard Parks. It really is a spectacular part of the world. And in fact, this road that I'm cycling on now is voted by the AA as not just one of the most beautiful roads in Wales, but it's ranked as one of the top ten most beautiful roads in the whole world. And the BAFTA Cymru Award goes to... Hugh Edwards, Aberfan, The Fight for Justice. Unfortunately, they can't be here tonight, but we'll make sure this gets to them. Thank you, everybody, and good night.
The following categories have provided some of the most watched and talked about television of the year, highlighting the innovation and imagination of the people who continue to make these disciplines so pioneering. Peser Maura di Calgoho, the Kedvarion and Maer Suivan Heno, I Gavluinor Guabrenesa. Presenting the awards, please welcome back to the stage our two guest performers from earlier on this evening, Lucy Jones and Betsy. <laughs> Category crafts in our gan dechrai gadar guabra am gacht a collier. Now I'm not one for betting, but I'm pretty sure that I wouldn't get very good odds on this year's makeup and hair category. Sponsored by Ken Picton, these are the artists, well, this is the artist who made her one screen talent look the part. Claire Pritchard Jones, Lady Chatterley's lover. You did send me an invitation. Look at you. <laughs> the quantity of my newly developed coal would yield more energy than the same quantity of a common or, or garden variety. One would hope as much as 20%. Claire Pritchard Jones, Sherlock, the Abominable Bride. Till death has to part. Twice in this case. Claire Pritchard Jones, Sherlock, the lying detective. <laughs> of course. He doesn't want to kill one person, he wants to kill anyone. He's a serial killer. The BAFTA Camry Award goes to, drum roll please, <laughs> Claire Pritchard Jones for Lady Chatterley's Lover. <laughs> I'm very greedy. Um, yeah, fantastic. First of all, thank you to Hartswood, who have brought brilliant drama to Wales, um, fantastic scripts, brilliant production values, and respect our teams. Costume, makeup, design, we've had fantastic support from them, from the BBC, from BAFTA, from everyone involved. But mostly, my teams on all three productions um, and the one that can't be with us tonight, Emmy nominated Amy Riley, who's watching online on Facebook in Rome. Hi, Amy! So, um, obviously, thank you to my family, you know, who support me, all the horrendous hours that we work, but mostly I thank these guys for supporting my work ethic, is work hard, play hard, look after the cast, watch each other's backs, and do your best. So thank you very much, Bafta. Thank you. Of all the specialized arts that go into making film and television, designers are confronted by endless possibilities as they imagine and create new worlds. Sponsored by Dressed, the nominees this year include the eerie surroundings of a supernatural horror film, a dramatization of the events leading up to the death of a Peckham schoolboy, and a contemporary reimagining of a renowned, if a little eccentric, detective. Let's take a look. Arwell Wynne Jones, Sherlock. This is very good, Dr. Watson. I should have fitted you with a cardiograph. The 
Mr. Bright David. Katrin Meredith. Damilola, our loved boy. I must go. Richard, we never discussed this. This was never the plan. You think I want you to go without me? Richard Campling, don't knock twice. And the BAFTA Cymru Award goes to Catherine Meredith for Dami Lola, our loved boy. Dechle, hoffwn i ddiolch i BAFTA Cymru am yr unwebiad. Yr oedd hi'n fraint i weithio fel cynllunydd ar y drama mor bwysig hon. It was an honour to work as a designer on such an important drama. Thank you, BAFTA. Thank you to Kate, my set decorator, to Sue Horth and Eros, and more importantly, my family. Ellen and Griff will watch me online, hopefully. It's to you. Diolch. <laughs> Now, the people shortlisted in this category are masters of their art, bringing characters to life. Tonight, we honour the great talent of these incredible artists. Sponsored by Bluestone, here are the BAFTA Cymru nominees for costume design. Dawn Thomas Mondo, a Llyfrgell, The Library Suicides. I've got a medal, you see. It's good by now, don't you? Do we catch chat? There's a John in our mouth, Steve. When a date, Tavor is Jack the Ripper. Ray Holman, a Midsummer Night's Dream. Ill met by moonlight, proud Titania. <laughs> My jealous overall. Sarah Arthur, Lady Chatterley's lover. In the presence of God, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit, we have come together to witness the marriage of Clifford and Constance. And the BAFTA Cymru Award for costume design goes to... Sarah Arthur, the Lady Chatterley's lover. Mm. Wow, well, I wasn't expecting that. Uh, thank you. BAFTA Cymru, uh, thank you Hartwood, thank you BBC, Bethan, for giving me the opportunity to work on these lovely productions. Thank you for my hugely talented daughter, Dominique, and my wonderful assistant who can't be here tonight, Kerry Walford. <sighs> thank you. Congratulations and thank you, Betsy and Lucy. I'm not only at a war, but I'm an actor, God I guess. I'm here to present the award for Best Actor, sponsored by Audi UK, an actress who was just as convincing as a young Maggie Thatcher in The Iron Lady with Meryl Streep as she was as DS Joy Frears in Channel 4's No Offence. I'm an actor, I'm an actor, I'm an actor, I'm an actor, I'm an Please welcome Alexandra Roach.
Maswetha, good evening. The nominees in this category are distinguished as a group by the broad and diverse range of characters they portray. They've given performances so accomplished and inspiring that there's nothing more fitting as recognition than a BAFTA Cymru Award nomination. Let's take a look at some of their most celebrated moments. Devan Duivor as Dan in A Llyfrgell, The Library Suicides. <coughs> Should they say they first in the mine? Jack Parry Jones as Michael in Moon Dogs. Joe? No, no, that's 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 ridiculous. I need time to study, I'll forget everything, and I'd, I've got to stay sharp. I've got to stay sharp, I've got to stay on top of things. So a job? No, no way. I'm not doing a job. Mark Lewis Jones as Thomas Griffiths in The Lighthouse. Pleading, pleading with him up there. And he hears you, cares that he will answer you. Listen. Listen. Michael Sheen as Dave Evans in Abervan the Green Hollow. I studied hard in the end. Went to university and worked for years in the city. I felt, in a way, like I had a duty to succeed not just for me, but for my friends as well. And the BAFTA Cymru Award for Actor goes to Jack Parry Jones. The right, it actually says my name. Um, oh, sorry, I'm shitting myself. Um, <laughs> Um, I'm so chuffed to be here, you wouldn't even believe it, um, but it's honestly an honour to be nominated um, with such a fantastic company, and um, I think it really shows the wealth of talent that's in Wales. I've seen the stuff that the guys have done, and it's just outstanding, so I'd like to say congratulations to them and thank you. Um, 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 thank you uh, to so many people. Thank you to, I'm, I'm just going to try and reel off people, sorry. Um, but thank you to Simone for bringing me to Phil and Cathy's attention. Thank you to Phil and Cathy for actually taking the gamble on me. Um, I was a no one. <laughs> um, thank you uh, to Tara and Christy and the whole cast and crew, the writers. You were absolutely fantastic. Um, Thank you to uh, Film Cymru, uh, to the Irish Film Board, uh, Creative Scotland, thank you. Um, bloody hell. Uh, thank you to my family and friends um, for always supporting me, to my nan and grandfather, uh, to Becky, I love you so much. Um, but most importantly, to my mother, um, who, to be honest about her, I don't know where I'd be. Uh, I definitely wouldn't be here, so thank you very much. Big congratulations, and Diolch uh, yeah, Alexandra Amlain and Coming up, the BAFTA Cymru Special Award for Outstanding Contribution to Film and Television. But before that, two further categories, starting with Photography and Lighting Fiction. To present the awards, an actor who's appeared in Spooks, Band of Brothers, and the Ridley Scott epic Black Hawk Down, and a star of BBC's Hustle, E4's Misfits, Resident Evil, and ITV series Bad Girls. They're about to appear together as part of the cast of a brand new musical, Tiger Bay at the Wales Millennium Centre next month. Please put your hands together for Ian Virgo and Liz May Bryce. <laughs> Good 
evening. Filmmakers reveal realism by using the power of light and photography, bringing to life moving images that are sometimes exciting, sometimes heartbreaking, but always beautiful. In a category supported by ELP, the nominees are Alex Metcalf, The Lighthouse. I plan to see true to my post and maintain the light as best I can. I begin to fear for my sanity alone on this wretched island. No relief boat has been dispatched into this damn storm. Richard Stoddard, an Amadawiad. Steve Laws, Aberfan, the Green Hollow. It looked like the sun. That's what I thought when I came round the corner. A mountain of slurry with men all over, like ants. And all of them digging with their fingers, their hands. I had my notebook, my pen, but I couldn't take them out, so instead I climbed up onto it. The British Academy Comrie Award goes to... Richard Stoddard, Erden of the Light. Thank you very much, um, BAFTA Cymru, and um, my wife, Rebecca, uh, had to get that in, otherwise I'd be in deep trouble. Um, Gareth, Kate, and Ed for trusting me to make a very powerful film, I thought, um, really got to me. Um, it was an amazing project, um, and everybody got so behind it, and it just made my job much easier. So, thank you. The films that we honour tonight have inspired us, touched our emotions, given us hope, and possibly even changed the way we think. Sponsored by Curzon, here are the nominations for feature television film. Albi Anoa and Achib a universe. A Midsummer Night's Dream. Come, Blade, my breast and brew. And farewell, friends. Thus, this be ends. The BAFTA Cymru Award goes to... Ellen. Um, 
thank you very much. Um, Ellen was uh, a low-budget film with very high ambition, and those ambitions couldn't have been fulfilled at all without the support of the Welsh Assembly, without the brilliant Welsh crews, and without the amazing people at Bang and Cinematic. So, broadly, thank you, Wales. Congratulations, dear Chian Aliz. Aki Glai Heno, Vidoni at Wobber at Benig, at Academy Bradinig and Humri and Gavraniad Hagoro, he film a Thaledi. Now to our final award of the night, the BAFTA Special Award for Outstanding Contribution to Film and Television, supported by Sony Technology. Past winners include Sir Harry Seacombe, Margaret John, and last year the Monty Python legend Terry Jones, of course. But this year, it's a Welsh actor whose outstanding CV speaks for itself. This is an honour bestowed by the BAFTA Cymru Committee, and to present this prestigious accolade, it's a pleasure to introduce the Chair of BAFTA Cymru and Executive Director of Production Company, Tinopolis. I gyflwyn o'r gwobra heno, rhwch groes o i, Angharad Maid. Good evening, everyone. Good evening, Bochigid and Kalnason Week. My name is Benigma on Duhi. Well, as chair of BAFTA Cymru, it has been fantastic to see the most amazing work being showcased tonight. And I congratulate all nominees and winners alike for their outstanding work. And also, I extend our thanks to all the juries who represent the creative industry here in Wales. Song of Achiade Maori and Nishwiri Gid and in Webbioni Heno. Well, however, one award which is in the gift of the BAFTA Cymru Committee is this special award for outstanding contribution to film and television. And it gives me immense pleasure this evening to have the huge honour to present this award. Now, our recipient this year has to be one of the most prolific actors in the business. He has over 250 acting credits to his name, which span across television, film, and games. He began his acting career in 1964, playing Gareth in Crossroads. And for those of you like me, old enough to remember, it was the soap that had everyone glued to their televisions with up to 15 million viewers per show. Incredible. He played opposite Adam Faith in another great hit, Budgie. He was agent Michael Malone in The Intouchables and Macro in the fabulous I, Claudius. His talent was indisputable, his screen presence unquestionable, and his charismatic portrayals undeniably brilliant. Highly deserved worldwide recognition came for his portrayal of the charismatic Arab excavator Salah in the Indiana Jones films, and then as Gimli in the Lord of the Rings trilogy. Now, Gimli, of course, was Lord of the Glittering Caves, and that seems quite an apt description for an Ammonford boy who made it big in Hollywood. And he's very proud of his forefathers in Wales, a long line of Carmarthenshire and Monmouthshire spinners and weavers he can date back to the 1700s. I love his work. I'm also a huge fan, and if anyone deserves this special Lifetime Award, it is this wonderful actor. Let's take a look at some of his work and hear from some of his work colleagues. Madonna, she looks fast, your ship. Where was she built, Rotterdam? Aye. Do you think we could go aboard her? I'd like to collect my gear and you could have a closer look. I'll blow your head off, Inglés, if you've got some damn trick up your sleeve. I give you my word. Pilot the pilot. And I'll swear on your mother's virtue. <laughs> I'm beginning to like you, Inglés. No, if you do not tell me the way to the mines, I will pluck out your daughter's eyes and uh, crush them underfoot like a grape. I will do this with various parts of her body, but uh, you know all this, don't you? No! <laughs> All right, all right, I'll tell. Don't tell him, Daddy. You don't have to tell him anything. 
All right, tell him a little. Oh. I take it that this is not a social call, 007. Correct. You should have brought lilies. May I ask why? Smiat Spionem. Smiat Spionem? was a barrier operation in Stalin's time. It was deactivated 20 years ago. Two of our agents are dead. My condolences. We go this way. Get that terminal out of the way. What? No, 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 no. Ipsy! Ipsy! What happened to Marcus, Salah? Uh, they set out across the desert this afternoon. I believe they took Mr. Brody with them. Now they have the back. And in this sort of race, there's no silver medal for finishing second. Mrs. Fletcher. Mrs. Fletcher, I'm delighted finally to meet you. Well, how do you do, Mr. Mordecai? Yeah, I suppose, uh, Johnny here has been telling you all sorts of horror stories about me. Well, I... Uh... Uh, they're all true. <laughs> now, seriously, Mrs. Fletcher, I trust that, uh, your edit of our serialization of your novel will be a piece of cake. I hope so. So do I, Mrs. Fletcher. Be careful! They have found a way to harness the energy of a thunderstorm and to expel it with great force. A pistole that shoots not a lead ball, but a bolt of lightning. Oh, I'd like to meet this patron of yours. And so you shall this very evening. But I caution you, he is as ruthless as a Borgia. You've saved us the trouble of tracking you down. You fiends can't win. You're outnumbered. You seen I beg a fish face. There are three of us and only one of you. Make that two. The quickster. Nicholas, ah! <laughs> two already. I'm on 17. Ah! I'll have no point to you and scoring me! John, I hear BAFTA are giving you an award. Congratulations. You deserve it. You deserve all the awards. John, it was an absolute pleasure to work with you. And even more so, to get to know you and now to call you a friend. You're a great man, John. And you have portrayed and invented some of the most wonderful, memorable characters ever to appear on film and TV. So thank you very much for that. Have a great night, John. Congratulations. Salah, this is Rene Belloc. I believe you're receiving an award for services to music, I think. I'm not surprised, it's about time. You were, after all, the Placido Domingo of the Egyptian waterfront. Seriously, John, very many congratulations, and it gives me the ability to reminisce about our times together on the beach in Tunisia, where we argued the toss about Margaret Thatcher. Do you remember her? John, congratulations, and I'm going to turn you over to the good folk in Cardiff who are waiting for your new rendition of a modern major general. Over to you. Well, what... <laughs> Wasn't that a great finale to a fantastic night? Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome onto the stage the recipient of the Outstanding Contribution to Film and Television Award, the brilliant John Reese davis <laughs> Thank you. 
and the stage, oh yes. Halt, an audience don't move perfect. Some of you may remember that one. But anyway, to receive an honor uh, in the company of such illustrious and talented and gifted people tonight, as we have seen here, is indeed an honor. To, to receive it in Wales is an honor that touches my heart deeply. Digol, Digol, Digol. Thank you. The drama's laws, the drama's patrons give. And we who live to please must please to live. Every one of us in this room should have that engraved in large lettering and placed upon the wall opposite the one that we wake up from each morning. We should wake up, look at that. The drama's laws, the drama's patrons give. And we who live to please, must please to live. Now, who are these patrons? Well, sometimes they are our employers. What's the rule with employers? Well, the rule is simple. Ask yourself at the end of every day, would I, would I pay me for the work that I have done today? And if the answer is yes, sleep well. If the answer is no, frequently, worry. The other real patrons are, of course, our audience. We live to please because we entertain them, because we feed them, before, because, because they actually need us. Now, that sounds extraordinary, isn't it? That they actually need us. I was in the south of France the other day, and I had the pleasure of meeting uh, a French military man who'd fought in Afghanistan. And I made some platitudinous remark about uh, the madness of the world we live in. And he looked me squarely in the eye and he said, yes, John. And that is why we need people like you. So that people like me can dream. No higher compliment could ever be given to us as actors than something like that. We have to look after our audience. Do not let me see any of you younger actors ever refusing to have a photograph with somebody. The one exception would be, of course, that little shit who followed me into the bathroom on the M5 the other day and received a very short uh, shift. Bathrooms accepted. Look after your audience. If you look after them, after 40 or 50 years, they will look after you. <laughs> and God bless them, they've looked after me for a long time. The other thing that I wanted to say was, we've got to look to the future. When we did Lord of the Rings, we transformed the economy of New Zealand. The tourist industry in New Zealand is now worth 13.8 billion pounds, a billion New Zealand dollars a year, which is shared among four million people. It is enormous. Peter Jackson created a film industry that in turn did more to put New Zealand on the map of the world than any other man since Captain Cook. Why the hell are we not doing that here? We have the talent in depth, we have the imagination, and we have the hoil. I'm honored to say tonight that uh, we on the Isle of Man, I, I lived there, not for tax purposes, I have to tell you. <laughs> oh, God, would that it were so. Um, we on the Isle of Man have got together and we have found a project that we believe will actually transform not the, just the economy of the Isle of Man, but the entire Celtic area. My friend Alastair Audsley there has produced a, a book for a television series that will, and I promise you, I know a little bit about what I'm talking about, will be better than Game of Thrones. The knock-on effect in New Zealand was there are at least 2,500 businesses, small businesses, 
and that have been associated with the development of film in New Zealand. And small businesses are actually pretty important in a country of small businesses. We have the talent, we have the skills, we have the vision, and we have the passion. And I want to say that we also, on the Isle of Man, at least, have the support of the government. Uh, my guest, one of my guests tonight is, is, is Lawrence Skelly, who is the Minister for Economic Development. We are serious about creating new work, work that will have an identity commodity attached to it. And that work will change and transform the whole of the Celtic area. I hope that we all get to work together soon. And thank you again for this wonderful honor. And to my wife and daughter in New Zealand, love you. Thank you. John Wong Harrod's glasses. We'll get them to whoever's glasses they are. I'm sorry for following you to the bathroom in the services station. <laughs> and what a wonderful, wonderful close to tonight's evening we, uh, the proceedings. Um, that is the end of the 2017 BAFTA Cymru Awards. My wedding friend, Kelly Cumni Chimahero. A huge thanks to all involved. There's so much work that goes into making this such a special event. So thanks to them. Our fabulous house band as well. To our guest artists Betsy and Lucy Jones and all our award presenters, Diolch Mariam. Congratulations to the winners and nominees. A thank you for your gathering in Red Bay, Gwobrio. Make sure you keep up the good work and maintain Wales' significant presence at the forefront of international film games and television production. This room is filled with so many artists who create unique and inspiring work. It's been a privilege to recognise your creative talent. The celebrations continue down the road at the Radisson Blue Hotel, a short walk across the Hayes. And remember, what happens at the BAFTA Cymru Awards after show usually ends up at Wales Online. Um, <laughs> Diolch am Cymru. No stop.